Today I wanted to talk to you about the diameter of a garden hose. Do you know how to measure the diameter of a garden hose? It's not so hard. And one of the most popular methods is to use the index card. You roll up an index card, kind of shape it slightly like a funnel and shove it into the end of the hose. Make sure that the edge of the index card is touching the inside of uh, the hose. And you pull it out and then measure the distance from, well, measure the diameter of the circle that you've created. However, the easier way is to just use a pair of calipers. Measure the outside diameter and then subtract out the material. The vast majority of all garden hoses are 5 8 inches. So they just, they just are. Heavy duty hoses like this one measure 0.95 in width. I've got a an even heavier duty hose over here. Also a 5 8 inch hose. This hose right here, I don't ever move. It's, it goes out to my, my uh, irrigation system. That one is 0.99. I have some light duty hoses also. Let me move into the garage. This is a light duty hose that is destined for the garbage because I hit it with my lawnmower. A good long time ago, that one is 0.8 inches wide. Your lightest duty basic hoses are going to be between 0.77 inches in diameter, outside diameter, and your heavy duty hoses are going to be approaching 1 inch in diameter. Now, if you're getting close to 1 inch, uh, that starts getting pretty wide. Here I have a three quarter hose. These are, this is attached to my outdoor hydrant spigot. These hoses are higher capacity hoses. Usually you'll find them only in commercial use um, or uh, let's say farm and ranch use or anywhere where you need to move a lot of water because they do move much more water than a five eighths inch hose. This is 1.15 in diameter. Currently here at the house, I've only got one three quarter inch hose. And you're gonna find that is the case for most people because three quarter inch hoses aren't used very often, especially in a domestic household setting. So chances are good. The hose that you are looking to um, measure figure out what size it is. It's probably a 5 8 inch hose. Um, that is the most common size. Um, and if you can measure the outside diameter of it, and it measures between 0.77 inches and 1 inch, it is almost assuredly a 5 8 inch hose. Anything below 0.77, and it is a half inch hose, which is also unlikely because those are harder to come by. You have to kind of look specifically to find a half inch hose in stores. I have looked in my stores here uh, where I live and I don't see any. Um, like I've walked into four stores and they don't even sell a half inch hose. Um, I did pi buy one on Amazon. Um, uh, it's going to come eventually. Um, I, I guess I can add information to the to the description um, on how wide that is, the outside diameter, but it's going to be less than 0.77. Anything above one inch, and it's most likely going to be a three-quarter inch hose because it's more water is traveling through it. Uh, so the material on the, uh, on the exterior of the hose is going to be slightly thicker than a light heavy-duty or a lightweight hose, um, and it's just it's just going to be. It's just going to be more than an inch wide. So take a look at turfmechanic.com. I've got a little table that I've made there that includes these uh, diameters and measurements and kind of guidelines. Um, it's, you know, measurement ranges. Um, links down below. You can also just Google turf mechanic garden hose diameter. Uh, you're going to find it. Um, most likely I'm number one on the list right there.